All right, we're happy to have you back with us on Death, Taxes, and Duval. Rick Ballou is nursing a sore throat, so we hope he feels better. So, Graham Marsh, kind of enough to pinch it for us. Uh, yes, sir. It's great Absolutely. to see you. How are you doing? Absolutely. Good to see you. Good to see you. I love your shirt. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Thank it's you, very sir. cool. Very uh, cool. It's a Dunder Mifflin Friday. Yeah, I love it. Um well, let's just start with, uh, yeah, let's thank our sponsor. Uh, let me do that first. I always get ahead of myself. Uh, Spicklemeyer Insurance Agency, my uh, good friend John Spicklemeyer. I've known him since high school. He's a great guy, played football at Notre Dame, uh, and now he's become an excellent insurance agent. And if you really you know, are looking to save money on your car insurance and who isn't, uh, have John give it a look to your policy, 471-7155. You can call John and uh, have him take a peek, make sure that you're spending what you should be spending on car insurance. You'd be surprised. Sometimes there's things in your policy that uh, circumstances in your life can change and it affects your policy. You might be paying for things you shouldn't be paying for. So uh, again, give John a call, 471-7155, Spicklemeyer Insurance Agency. What a performance by Trevor Lawrence last week. Oh my Let's, God. I mean, we're going to be talking about that game for a long, long time. But so I, and I, I get it. It's late in the week and we're going to get to the Lions. But we we have to start with just what, what, what was it like? Where were you? What I was, was it in, like? I was in the stands. Okay. Um, in, the, in the so Monday and Tuesday, I had basically no voice because I spent the entire weekend in <laughs> Tallahassee beforehand. Got up Sunday morning in Tallahassee, like 7.30, headed back to Jacksonville, went to the game, was screaming the whole game, just phenomenal, phenomenal game. Um, where I sit, I was like, I was in the end zone that Justin Tucker was kicking to. Okay. So I had a pretty clear, I think I was able to tell before most people that it was short. Okay. It was pretty easy. So so that was awesome. Uh, as far as Trevor's concerned, I think Hayes, the biggest takeaway is if you look at for forever, the teams that have built long-term success in this league. The most important things are obviously coach, quarterback, right? That's absolutely pretty much tried and true no matter what decade you're talking about, whatever. You start building long-term success in the NFL when you start winning because of those things instead of in spite of those things. 2017 was a phenomenal season. I felt like they won in spite of both of those for a lot for a large part of the year, sure. head coach and quarterback. Nothing against Doug Marone, but when you look yeah, at the rest of I his mean, tenure, I think it was fair to say they won that mediocre year. coach. Correct. They certainly won in spite of mediocre quarterback play. Correct. Sunday was the most clear example that I think I've maybe ever seen as a Jaguar fan in, in my age, because I wasn't really alive for the Mark Burnell era, that they won because of their quarterback and because of their head coach. That is the most encouraging thing out of everything because it leads you to believe that this is going to build long-term success. Yeah, no doubt about it. And again, you what Trevor Lawrence did is literally, I mean, just cut the Ravens' heart out and show it to them as they died. I mean, it was right. absolutely right. what you want your alpha franchise quarterback to be doing. It was and Tom Brady, Patrick Mahomes absolutely. stuff. They would have all loved to have had that performance. The next time they see the Ravens, they would love nothing more than to have the kind of performance Trevor Lawrence had, 100%. and uh, and it, it is just so exciting now to see where where it goes. And uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm completely with you. It was unbelievable. So we get to Detroit, and this is a game that all of a sudden takes on some pretty big meaning, particularly when you start to look at the landscape in the AFC South, which is basically Houston and Indianapolis are out. And the Titans have a big lead, but the Jaguars did gain a game on them last week, beating the Ravens. The Titans lose to Cincinnati. And now this week, you go and play a Lions team that's not great. Meanwhile, the Titans go to Philly. Huge game coming up on Sunday. Gigantic. Because the I think we've all heard by now that, you know, if if the Jaguars win in Detroit, if the Titans lose, they have to go to Philly, right? Yes. If the Titans lose in Philly, the Jaguars then control their own destiny because the Jaguars were a little bit fortunate with the way the schedule was laid out that they still have two opportunities to play the Titans. So, yeah, I mean, it's gigantic, right? And it's gigantic for the Lions as well because the NFC is wide open. I mean, the NFC, the Jaguars, would they, they'd be on the in the hunt graphic if they were in the NFC right now. So huge game for both teams. It might be the most intriguing 4-7 and seven matchup I think I've ever seen. Yeah. I mean, it's unreal, right? Like, and and you look at the the other thing too is is the momentum of 
of keep, keeping the momentum that the Jaguars, and specifically number 16, has built in the last month. You know they lost to the Chiefs. They, they lost pretty handily. But that wasn't because of Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence played really well in that game. Trevor Lawrence played really well against the Raiders. Trevor Lawrence played probably his best game as a pro this past week against the Ravens. Let's follow that up. Let's keep it going. And then you get number one back in the lineup with Travis Etienne. I was uh, doing the podcast with Tommy Mack earlier today. The Lions allow over five yards of carry. Oh, yeah. They're brutal. I, as much as I'd love for Trevor Lawrence to have another three-touchdown performance, there's no reason that they can't just feed it to Travis Etienne and he just completely destroys the Lions defense. And he's going to be healthy. Doug Peterson confirmed yep. today. So, I mean, <coughs> excuse me. Th- there's no reason you can't have that type of game plan. And, and as good as Trevor Lawrence was and as much as I expect more performances like that, it's not. I don't think it's sustainable to expect that every single week in an NFL season, even for the good quarterbacks. You need your running game to show up. And what better week for that? To, what better week for Travis Etienne to come back and get right after a week of not really, you know, not really playing the entire game than than a defense that can absolutely be had in the running game. Yeah, the Lions give up fifty point seven percent on third down defensively. That's atrocious. That would be. The second worst in NFL history. If it that's holds. that's like that's like a bad college football team level, right? Bad, and and but that those two stats go hand in hand, don't they? It, allowing five yards a carry and being atrocious on third down. What that means is you're having a lot of third and twos, right? It, it's not a bunch of third and tens that you're giving up. There's no way you're get you're you're giving up big chunks of rushing yardage on first and second down, and then it's third and one, and you're giving it up. No doubt about it. What do you think happens Sunday? Uh, it's going to be tough. I think, I do think the Jaguars make a statement. I do think they win the game. I think it's higher scoring. Probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 31 29, something like that, 28 29. Another close one, another one where five minutes left, you're really not sure who's going to win. And, uh, I think the Jaguars pull it out, maybe a late field goal at the end to get the edge. I think that's a great pick because that's the game I see as well. I, I think the Jaguar defense is, uh, they're going to have it, their challenges in this game. Detroit's very balanced offensively. They got I some think, dudes too. I think man. they've got absolutely, DJ Chark concerns me as a secondary uh, weapon for them because scored in, in week one, pardon me, I'm having trouble getting through this, uh, is scored in week one, got hurt. Came back last week, scored on Thanksgiving. He's the kind of guy that can take advantage of that suspect second corner that whoever the Jaguars decide to put out there. And this game so, will be personal to him as well. Absolutely. So, so I, you know, I, I'm worried about the not just the Detroit Stars, but the Detroit kind of role players as well in a game like this. And golf has been playing well. Look, I mean, his passer rating is right there with Trevor Lawrence's. So uh, obviously he doesn't get a lot of hype. But he's having a, a very sound season. Uh, how do you think the Jaguar defense will hold up? Who 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 are some guys that have to have big time performances? Big time. Uh, I mean, Tyson Campbell, of course, because he's going to be with Amon Ross St. Brown. He's one of the best wide receivers in football. He's ridiculous. So Amon Ross St. Brown needs to have a quiet day, I think, for the Jaguars to win. So Tyson Campbell, but I have no reason to believe he won't have a good day. Tyson Campbell's had a phenomenal season so far. Um. Because of the nature of the draft stuff, you'd love yeah. Trayvon Walker to make a statement well, when he's be been great. really quiet for a while, especially when Aiden Hutchinson has been playing well. We kind of all predicted that at the beginning of the season, that Hutchinson would have a stronger start. Right. But this game specifically, boy, wouldn't you love for Trayvon Walker to get a sack or a strip sack or make some sort of game-changing play and to see Cam Robinson shut down Aiden Hutchinson? Wouldn't that be nice? So I'd love to see Trayvon Walker for the storyline, um, the most important guy to me, and I've been saying this for two months, regardless of who they're playing, is 41, man. Josh Allen's got to have a day that he gets two sacks yeah. and really affects a football game. That He's not doing it enough for, for who he's supposed to be. And it's not just about this specific game. He just needs a game where he dominates. Yeah, he certainly do. It's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to watch it. I've got the Jaguars winning as well. Uh, I'll go 34 34- 31, kind of similar to you, maybe just a, a right. little little bit more scoring. But I, I think it's going to be a sensational game. I think Trevor Lawrence is going to play fantastic. And uh, and, and I think having ETN back is going to be gigantic. So uh, I think the Lions are going to get theirs, but I think ultimately the Jaguars are playing so well. And boy, I cannot wait to talk about if that happens and, and come on, fly, Eagles, fly, beat the Titans. 
wouldn't you love the hype that it will have going to Nashville uh, next Sunday if that happens, if the Jaguars have gained two games on the Titans in the past two weeks going into that game, as Graham mentioned, the Jaguars would control their destiny. They're going to have to sweep the Titans, and that's no easy task, obviously, but at least they have a chance. You know, at least right. there's something. At least it's December, and there's a chance right. that something <laughs> might happen that is interesting. So uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Graham, thanks so much for sitting in. Um, I, uh, I apologize. You kind of carried me through this as well. Rick Ballou is uh, is obviously out. He'll be back next week, so I uh, appreciate it, man. Yes, sir. All right. Absolutely. I want to thank uh, John Spicklemeyer, Spicklemeyer Insurance Agency. Again, 471-7155. We all have to have car insurance. Make sure you're not spending too much on it. Uh, let John look at your policy. He'll tell you straight up. He'll be like, no, you got a good policy. I can't help you. Uh, or he'll look at it and say, you know what? We could take this out. We could adjust this and uh, and save you some cash. So give him a call, 471-7155. We certainly appreciate the support of John Spicklemeyer, my good friend, Spicklemeyer Insurance Agency. All right, that's going to wrap it up. Uh, for Graham Marsh, I'm Hayes Carline. For the absent Rick Ballou, go Jaguars. We will be back next week, hopefully talking about a big Jaguars victory over the Detroit Lions. Thanks so much for listening. Take care. This is Death Taxes and Duval.